The Ayalet of the Maurya was a first-level province of the Ottoman Empire, centered on the Peloponnese Peninsula in southern Greece. History From the Ottoman conquest to the 17th century the Ottoman Turks overran the Peloponnese between 1458 to 1460 conquering the last remnants of the Byzantine Empire, with the exception of the Venetian strongholds, which were taken gradually over decades of intermittent Ottoman-Venetian wars. Koran and Modern fell in 1500, and by 1540, the Ottoman conquest of the Peloponnese had been completed with the capture of Monimbaja and now Pleon. Upon its conquest, the peninsula was made a Sanjak of the Rumelia Islet, with its capital first at Corinth, later in Leontari, Mistras and finally in now Pleon. Since the 16th century, Mistras formed a separate Sanjak, usually attached to the islet of the archipelago rather than Rumelia. Creation of the islet, Venetian interlude and Second Ottoman period sometime in the mid-17th century, as attested by the traveller Evlia Celebi. The Moria became the centre of a separate islet, with Patras as its capital. The Venetians occupied the entire peninsula during the successful Morian War, establishing the Kingdom of the Moria to rule the country. Venetian rule lasted until the Ottoman reconquest in 1715. The Moria Rialet was re-established, headed by the Mora Valesi, who until 1780 was a pasha of the first rank and held the title of vizier. After 1780 and until the Greek War of Independence, the province was headed by a Mahazal. The pasha of the Moria was aided by a number of subordinate officials, including a Christian translator, who was the senior Christian official of the province. The capital was first at Nauplian, but after 1786 at Tripolitsa, the Morot Christians rose against the Ottomans with Russian aid during the so-called Orlov Revolt of 1770, but it was swiftly and brutally suppressed. As a result, the total population decreased during this time, while the proportion of the Muslim element in it increased. Nevertheless, the privileges granted to the Orthodox population with the Treaty of Kutchuk Energy, especially the right to trade under the Russian flag, led to a considerable economic flowering of the local Greeks, which, coupled with the increased cultural contacts with Western Europe and the inspiring ideals of the French Revolution, laid the groundwork for the Greek War of Independence. Administrative Divisions According to Evlia, at the time of his visit the Ayalet comprised the Sanjaks of Misastaya, Ayamara, Inabati, Kali, Menia and Balabhadra, i.e., it encompassed also the portions of western and central continental Greece. At the beginning of the 19th century, according to the French traveller François Pouqueville and the Austrian scholar Joseph von Hammerpergstall, the Ayalet comprised the following Sanjaks. Mora, i.e., the Pasha Sanjak around the capital, Tripolitsa, Anavaran, Arcadia, Inabati, Balabhadra, Gastuni, Mesolongi, Kordos, but by the time of Pokeville's visit with Anabola as capital, Koran, Misastaya, Moton, Piergos. Throughout both Ottoman periods, Moria was also divided into a number of smaller districts, whose number varied but was usually between 22 and 25, and reached 27 by 1784. In the mid-17th century, when the Moria was still a Sanjak, these were, according to Haji Khalifa, Kordos, Ahos, Anabola, Fiorina, Iapetri, Ruya, Menia, Calavrita, Cartina, Lundari, Andrusa, Koran, Motun, Anavaran, Arcadia, Fana, Holimic, Vostis, Balabhadra or Balibada. In addition, Misistra, Mens and Kalamata belong to the Sanjak of Misistaya, Mesistra, 